Hi my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. So whenever you hear the message is when you are meant to receive it. Um, but today is August 1st. So happy new month to everyone. Um, we are in Leo season and we have a full moon in Aquarius today. So I don't know if you watched my reading from yesterday, but here in the month of August, there's going to be two super moons. There's a full moon that is in Aquarius, which is happening today. And we also have a full moon in Pisces, which is going to take place on August 30th. So I was reading an article that was stating that this is the first time we've had two super moons in one month since 2018. And this won't happen again until 2037. Okay. So today is going to be um, a full moon reading. I want this to be a reading where we're focusing more on shadow work, healing, and spiritual guidance because um, to be honest with you guys, I did a late night reading last night and I was picking up some very dark energy. You know, of course, the <laughs> the warlocks and the witches, they never sleep, but I wanted to make sure that we started the month off right with a um, reading that was focusing more on what we want to cleanse and clear as a collective of, you know, divine beings, those who consider themselves to be chosen, um, instead of us focusing so much on what is going on around us, okay? I will post that reading um, later. Maybe it was, um, it was, it was dark, I'll be honest. But today, what I'm going to do is something a little different. Um, also, for those of you who, um, saw my community posts where I had the poll asking about me doing um, individual Zodiac readings on this channel or creating a new channel. I thank you all. If you haven't seen that post, please go on there and vote because I'm really trying to figure out what I should do next. If you are um, a long time subscriber, this started out as a channel where I was only doing weekly love readings for all 12 Zodiac signs. And for the last several months, maybe even the last year, I've been doing collective messages, but there is a, a, a shift, a change where, um, and everyone is probably experiencing these shifts and changes. I want to make sure that I'm channeling more. I feel like I'm really limiting myself, um, my gifts, talents, and abilities by focusing primarily on just the collective messages because I am able to pick up a lot of different things that are happening. Um, but I want to get back into the spiritual guidance that I was giving before, helping with self-love, healing, manifestation, things like that. Um, so I'm really trying to figure out if I want to just start doing collective messages that are focused on shadow work, healing, um, spiritual guidance, in addition to the collective messages that we have, or if I should start doing individual readings. But if I do individuals, um, I don't know if I should bring them back on this channel or possibly start a new channel. To be honest, um, I would like to keep everything on this channel, but I wanna make sure that you guys are um, okay <laughs> with the decision that I make because you are you are my soul family and my, my viewers here. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, but I'm going to start out how I used to do in the past, even with the individual Zodiac readings with pulling from our soul journey oracle cards here to see what exactly are some of the blockages that we want to work on at this time we will look into what we want to release all right um and then we'll kind of do um i think today what i may do is like a past present future like spread to kind of see what's been happening in the background kind of what's going on, on around you right now and what exactly should we be focusing on manifesting for the future, okay? Keep in mind, energy is fluid. So whatever comes out could be related to you or someone else that may be in your energy, knowingly or unknowingly. Signs and gender are mentioned through, throughout the reading. But of course, pay attention to the story or the scenario that um, is coming out in the cards for you to see if that is you or someone else. We all have different signs and elements in our chart. 
Um, and of course, the roles could be reversed. He could be a she, she could be a he. So let's get into it, you guys. I'm excited. Um, the 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 energy right now. I also want to just say too, astrologically, Venus is going to. Well, Venus is in retrograde. It's been in retrograde now for about two weeks, and then Mercury is going to go in retrograde. I believe on um, August 23rd. <laughs> The same day that Virgo season starts. And then there's a new moon in Leo in two weeks, which will be on August 16th. So this month is going to be crazy. At the bottom of the deck here, we have empathy. All right. So right now, you may definitely be um, trying to see both sides of a situation. I would say the collective energy. There's been a lot of illusions. Wow. Friendship is here. So several cards came out. We have, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Friendship, we have grief, we have death, we have fear and denial. All right, let's talk about it. Some of you, when it comes to your friendships, when it comes to your relationships, you have a lot of empathy for people. Your empathy has possibly been something that has sort of gotten you into really, really great situations. And it's probably gotten you into some not so great situations. Um, sometimes we tend to, as, as light workers, as divine beings, we choose to... Um, want to see both sides of a situation and you should because we all deal with duality but you have to understand that when situations are bringing you some type of grief you can no longer allow yourself to be in denial about that situation so you cannot continuously act out of fear and allow friendships or relationships that are not actually encouraging you to grow to leave you in a stuck stagnant energy where you then begin to hinder yourself from actually manifesting you know security stability peace and abundance in your own life so for some of you this may be a time especially being in leo season with two full moons like i said there's a lot that is being um exposed we just had that you know um, season of cancer which was showing a lot so definitely like that crabs in the barrel type of energy you're going to see different things that have been happening behind the scenes um to bring some type of endings to your life perhaps from friends family ex-lovers um or, or people who are in your life now or that you walked away from or they walked away from you don't allow your empathy those who keep you stuck in fear also don't run away from the shadow aspect of yourself for every situation that you have in your life there's a part of you that has somehow attracted that situation and sometimes it is your empathy it is the fact that you are a healer you will attract a lot of people who perhaps are broken or they need your light but you have to understand that sometimes when you attract people and you want to see the best in them if they are not willing to show you the best in them and try to become the best version of themselves and they may not be in alignment with you in that season okay and this is something that oftentimes on our spiritual journey we can be in denial about we can be in denial about the fact that you know certain people or situations have run their course in our lives or we need to let go of things so with the full moon here you may want to really start assessing and evaluating your friendships why do you have certain people in your life why are you keeping those people in your life understand that with the death card here endings are always just opportunities for you to have a new beginning okay um your commitment to yourself is going to be tested when you understand the importance of you creating boundaries and releasing people or situations or walking away from jobs or any type of contracts or agreements that you just know are they're hindering you in some way you have grief here so it looks like a lot of people um, are definitely struggling in the collective with accepting the fact that you are fearful about letting go of certain things okay and i feel that right now based on what i've been seeing even in the readings there's going to be situations that will come up for you that they're going to hurt you so bad that you're not going to be able to continue with them because you won't let it go and sometimes that's what's necessary it, it's needed you know if you won't stop going back to a person place thing or situation that is not allowing you to get onto your path or your your divine journey to being your sole purpose it's almost like you have to be threatened you have to be um <laughs> you have to something has to happen that makes you afraid to go back to something okay 
So you're going to be in a situation where you're going to, you're going to touch the iron and it's really going to burn you so that you know not to do it any again, again, or you've already had those situations, those friendships, relationships, or whatever in life where you should know by now that that situation, you cannot return to it. You can't operate in that type of frequency or vibration ever again in your life because it's going to attract um endings for you uh and endings are not bad but some things are are going to bring in grief and it, it's time after that you don't need that those situations in your life too that have ended friendships relationships um opportunities or whatever you don't have to be in denial anymore of whether or not it was supposed to happen did you do the right thing or anything no practice gratitude okay practice gratitude because everything happened for a reason you're being set free Find humor in the situation. Those people who have revealed their truth to you, find humor. It doesn't matter how how big or bad the betrayal is or it was, find humor in the situation and realize that you can focus on the lighter side of life. There are things that are being cleansed and cleared out of your life so that you can make space for better things. Your happiness is coming in, okay? So those are the things that you want to work on as far as possible blockages. I'm going to look at... Um, Hold on the heal. Let's look at the heal yourself oracles. Let's see like any type of shadow work or healing that we want to focus on. Make sure that you are not self-sabotaging or procrastinating at this time. Some of you, you're procrastinating about saying those goodbyes about blocking, deleting, canceling, clearing certain things out, or even changing your habits. This procrastination, you're, you're needing to get a move on. We're in August now. The year is practically over, okay? So take yourself seriously. <laughs> you have here selling out and healing, all right? And at the bottom of the deck here, you have cycles. It says here, say what you mean. So communication, don't be afraid to say what you mean. Don't be afraid to say that you have standards, that you have, um, yeah, that you have standards. Okay. Don't be afraid to have boundaries with selling out being here. When you think about selling out, this could be in a relationship. It could be a job. It could be in any type of situation though, where you are settling for, a certain um person place thing or situation because at the time maybe you feel like it's going to bring you some type of security or stability all right however this situation could be something whatever it is in your life where you are not actually fully acting with integrity because you may be in a toxic work environment you may be um in a relationship where you're not happy it could be something as simple it could be anything, but this is saying that it's time for you now to stand up for yourself and have the strength and the courage to say that you're in a situation or you're doing something that you don't actually love. And so what spirit is saying is that you need to stand up for yourself and say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay. Um, this selling out card, this is, this is saying that you're in survival mode. Okay. And going back to the cards that we had at before with fear, when you're in sellout mode and survival mode, this is saying that you're willing to give up your own personal freedom, that you are you don't care so much about expressing yourself, saying what you mean, meaning what you say, and, and being truthful and authentic because you feel as though you need to be somewhere. You don't have to act as if you are being held captive in any type of situation, all right? This right here is... You first being honest with yourself and then being honest with people around you. Some of you, you have relationships with people around you, whether it's friends, family, or lovers, and you're not being honest about the fact that you're not happy there. You're, you're hiding how you feel. You're not saying that you want or that you need more. You're not saying that you're ready to go. Okay. So this is saying with these two cards, you need to take your power back. This is also, again, going back to the empathy card, which for some people is a problem. You cannot. Don't be a people pleaser. OK, some of you are stuck in and trying to keep the peace. So you're denying the fact that you're not happy or fulfilled somewhere. This is a cycle here that is needing to be healed, a cycle of people pleasing, because it all really goes back. Honestly, to a lot of codependency, 
caring more about these energy vampires and their feelings than you care about your own because these cycles are finally closing out for you okay but you have to to choose it's like the wheel of fortune you have to turn this wheel yourself all right healing here most of the time when you get to the point where you're ready to heal and make lifestyle changes it's because you're overwhelmed it's because you're stressed you're fearful okay you're tired you're sick and tired of being sick and tired if this card also some sometimes it can even suggest that um even in your body your body is responding to the, the stress and the tension okay you could be having tension headaches you could be feeling just a lot of fatigue or, or whatever and this is people now recognizing that the stress and the fear and the anxiety is causing you to not have much energy so listen to your body take time out to realize that you need to prioritize yourself and then with the cycles here i mean this that it's clear this is some of you it's a never-ending cycle that you're needing to come out of in order for you to heal and it starts with you saying that you're not going to be a sellout that you're not willing to put other people's thoughts and feelings and emotions above yours so with the cycles card this is saying, well what area of your life do you want to focus on now do you want to focus on your health, your fitness, your healing, your family issues or whatever it is? But all of your energy needs to go into creating something new. All right. And then at the bottom here, it says help from above. So it's like your spiritual team is here to assist you. Some of you, too, you're breaking out of a lot of generational cycles and patterns. And, and you know, you're you're coming out of this like this family and tribe card usually speaks of a lot of outdated conditioning all right some of you because of what you've been taught by your friends and your family or what you're allowing yourself to be influenced by even by social media is causing a lot of sadness it's like you have this protection all right this angelic spiritual guidance and protection here to let you know that you need to go towards your own actual soul family but that may mean that even with this sellout energy here it's time for you to realize that what you have been taught about family about friendship okay it needs to change because it's 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 based on something that is limited and and outdated and that's hard for a lot of people to actually admit and recognize but it's true everything that you've been taught by your family may not actually align with who you are now and the family that you are trying to create yourself sometimes this is a time right now even with this full moon for you to ask yourself what exactly were you taught about friendships about relationships about business relationships about money what were you taught do those beliefs do they actually align with who you are and who you're actually becoming so this is really all about like full full moon energy letting go of anything that does not serve you because those outdated beliefs the heartache the pain and the suffering that comes from a lot of things from the past it will manifest into heartache pain and bad relationships because it's a cycle it's a never-ending cycle you know of you being in a lower frequency of vibration and therefore attracting things that are of a lower vibration into your life so let's just see now what we want to release and then I'll get into the tarot. Surrender defensiveness. So <laughs> that's funny that this that's um, coming out because even with messages like this, when we really look into shadow work, a lot of people I'm sure will even be in the comments and they'll be quick to say, well, I'm not, I'm not a sellout. I'm not this, I'm not that. That's the first sign of being defensive because when you really want to heal and grow you have to recognize first that we all have a shadow aspect to ourselves you're not perfect so always being able to be humble and practicing humility and not being so quick to be defensive because being defensive like this card says it says defensiveness is a sign of weakness if it's not you you could be around other people who are being defensive even on your healing journey when you really start to focus on yourself and prioritize yourself and create those boundaries you will find yourself in situations with people who are going to be very defensive with you it's going to happen that way because your light is going to start to 
sort of trigger the darkness within other people. All right. So make sure, though, that you're not being defensive, especially if there's a high vibing person that comes around you and wants to, you know, offer some type of constructive criticism or whatever. There's no need to be defensive about it, you know, because the, the goal is for us all to grow and evolve. All right. Um, and if you find yourself around people who are being very defensive with you because you're making certain lifestyle changes, um, just kind of give them grace. So we have to surrender your ego. So either you or someone around you may be a little a bit in their ego and, and that may cause them to be defensive or you, however it goes. But it says a big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. All right. Surrender to what is there are certain situations that you just can't change. It's not meant for you to change them, not in not in this season or for whatever reason. And you have to just surrender to that. All right. There's certain things you just you can't fix them. You can't change it, especially people. Surrender to wonder and all just came out and surrender um, your fear of intimacy and low self-esteem is here. Surrender your attachment to results. All right. So ego, sometimes ego is not about being like conceited necessarily. Even when people consider themselves to be egotistical, arrogant, conceited, it usually is because of some type of hidden insecurity. All right. Some people um, have a fear of closeness, of intimacy, not just in romantic relationships, but just an in intimacy as far as allowing anyone to actually see who they are, their, their actual truth, being authentic. Spirit is saying right now it's time for us um, to do this and to encourage others to surrender low self-esteem, to understand that you really do deserve happiness, peace, love, success, and abundance. And you don't have to hide the fact that you deserve and that you desire those things. All right. So don't be afraid to get close to people. Also, surrender your attachment to results is here. So this is saying once you've done everything that you can do, let go of the results. Be in the present moment. You know, if you are doing your just focus on doing your best, whether it's in your friendships, relationships, in your job, your business. Be open to everything just being magical in your life so that you can stay connected to those higher vibing energies. All right. Surrender your ego when things don't go exactly how you want them to go. You don't have to start to get angry or upset or easily, you know, triggered by certain things. Because on this journey to you having um, like these boundaries and manifesting this abundance for yourself, there's going to be hiccups. There's going to be ups and downs, but you don't want your ego to get in the way of it. Some of you definitely, though, it's like when it comes to for sure uh, relationships and I'm going to say the romantic ones, it's time for you to let go of your fear of intimacy. You can have this fear of intimacy because of having some type of rejection or abandonment or being afraid of repeating past cycles, you know, b being afraid of becoming like your parents were or however the situation is. And this type of low self-esteem Um it just comes from trauma and everyone has it, you know, and then if someone calls you out about it or when they try to give you that love, it's like the ego will kind of kick in and that ego is there to actually um, to protect you. But you want to allow yourself to get to a place of being completely happy and at peace with yourself so that you can be vulnerable in the connections in your life that actually matter. Okay. So, wow. Cutting the deck, we have the Ace of Cups and the Chariot. I have not used these cards in a few months, but I love this deck, the Light Seer's deck. You have the Chariot and the Devil here. So, this is moving away from anything that um, is kind of holding on to your mind. Things that are just living rent-free in your mind. You want to release that at this time. It's not serving you. Yeah, seven of wands here, blocking out anything that's deceptive, this backstabbing energy, those who have betrayed you. You need to allow that to kind of add fuel to your fire so that you are working very hard. Yeah, on teamwork, collaboration with the people who, like I said, matter. 
okay there's people who are in the background who are working overtime to sabotage you because they know that you have wish fulfillment but what I want to do and get in the habit of doing even in our readings is focusing on what do you need for you okay the people in the background they're always going to be hating you have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles here so you're getting very very close some of you are preparing yourself to be really great business partners as well as partners perhaps even in marriage getting to the nine it, it puts you right before like the ten of cups the ten of pentacles so this is you really becoming very happy with who you are um as a person overall getting your finances and your career together some of you may be thinking about traveling at some point queen of cups you may be wanting to go um on some type of retreat even to travel okay to have a better connection with source there's the king of cups and the page of wands mm. we just saw the queen of cups the king of cups is here i see the ten of cups wow ten of cups another card flipped over and the chariot <laughs> some of you somebody you're becoming a vibrational match for the type of person that you want all these cards just fell out the tower oh you guys can't see these the tower the world the justice card the five of swords and the star that fear of intimacy is here i'm seeing it clearly it's like you or someone is so ready to move forward to go towards this wish fulfillment and happiness and you're optimistic you're happy you're excited about it and then it's like boom all of a sudden the indecisiveness the mental conflict it kicks in this is someone's ego this is fear okay that's kicking in and it's causing like this stalemate energy and for some of you it's a relationship you feel like you're gonna miss an opportunity with someone So for some of you, if this is a relationship, for sure, you and another person are mirroring, mirroring one another. And what I see happening is both of you are most likely closing out some type of heavy cycle before you come together into union. This could be someone that you know or someone that you're about to meet. All right. Keep in mind some of these readings, it'll give you future predictions. This could be telling you how the energy is going to be of a person that you are about to meet. OK, but this could be someone in your life or even from your past. You guys are closing out cycles here. There's a lot of really, really amazing energy, but the scales have to be balanced. Something here has to be closed completely. out. And remember, I said sometimes it's like God will come in and will completely like destroy something so that you can close a cycle out. For some of you, it's like a karmic situation in your life that it's going to be permanently closed out, whether you like you like it or not. And if it's not you, it's a person that you perhaps are connected to or you're connecting with. There is some type of blockage here that is being removed. And you may want to take this time with this full moon energy to really focus on, OK, what exactly is it that needs to be removed? OK. Somebody is family planning really i'm i'm getting for sure like family planning energy here um with this page of wands going to the ten of cups this is becoming very passionate and optimistic about a new beginning about doing something that makes you happy it doesn't have to be family planning but for some of you it's just you're getting to a point where you really really want to be happy Okay, whatever this type of emotional fulfillment is for you, it's coming in. And I, I do feel that it, it can come in pretty fast. The chariot is here. This is, like I said, the duality. You moving past the shadow aspect of yourself or some type of darkness that is lingering from your past and really stepping fully into the light, being very passionate about something. The tower card is here in the world. With the justice card, this is definitely speaking of... Um, I'm so sorry, you guys, but literally it felt like a person just came in here with me. It's a man. One second. So some you're being encouraged. Some of you, there's a... Um, 
There's a masculine energy. I'm hearing uncle for some. There's a protector. There's a, a masculine here. That is assisting you in shutting something down. They're assisting you in. Making sure that you can go towards your destiny. You've been crying. You've been crying or crying out. She's been crying. She's been crying a lot. So somebody, maybe you've been crying a lot. There's something specific you've been crying out for that you need or that you want or you desire. There's a masculine that is, um, they're watching you and they're protecting you. And they are going to ensure that whatever this is that you really, really want that you receive it. This is someone who believes in tough love. Meaning they're going to help you, but they help you as, as they see you help yourself. This will be someone in your family. I guess it's a masculine. <laughs> okay. Um, the high priestess. The star. Five of swords. Two of swords. Four of cups. Something happens right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting like more than one masculine energy, but for some of you, Either you're connected to someone or you're going to connect with someone. And I'm, I'm sensing that you're going to have some type of growth expansion. Some would call it like a glow up season that comes in all of a sudden where it's like you shut everything down. And it's, it's really that like may the best man win type of energy. It doesn't only have to be about like a romantic relationship, but for sure something here is about to take off so quickly for you. If you put the work in. And somebody is going to be very confused as to like, wow, how exactly did you get out of this? Because there's a stuck stagnant like energy of you being kind of at the crossroads about something that is going to just switch all of a sudden. And I've been saying this because of what's happening even energetically in the cosmos, astrologically and everything else. You don't need to allow yourself to be um, overwhelmed or consumed by any type of distractions right now. We literally have Venus in retrograde and Mercury is going into retrograde. Everything is going to make you start thinking about the past. The past is going to come in. They're going to try to tempt you. But there's a lot of things that are coming towards you that God has already shown you that it's forbidden. You don't need to go towards that. So it's like you're going to get all of a sudden this love and this energy and this momentum. And then boom, all of a sudden you go into some type of conflict that's going to have you at a crossroads you need to be aware of that yeah high priestess you're going to have to really 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 trust your intuition here and be very discerning you need to move methodically have some type of strategy have a plan yeah judgment because you have to call judgment on something and as we said before it, you can't allow your empathy to have you holding on to things that don't need to be held anymore Things that you know disappoint you. This heartache, the pain, the suffering, the grief, even if it's just an emotional attachment that you have to old situations, you, you need to let it go. The high priestess is here in the judgment. You're going through some type of awakening. There's an ascension. There is an upgrade. Okay. Some of you are still very disappointed because of things that have happened in your family. And it's time now for you to just free yourself, liberate yourself, give it up. Like it just, it it's like, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Childhood things, issues. Some of you, it could even be a situation with a masculine. Some of you are holding on to, yeah, deep rooted issues here. Some of you, you're angry because a masculine energy left your life. Someone could have actually transitioned and you, unfortunately, um, it's different for some of you. Some of you, you just don't feel like you had enough time 
with a masculine who was very important. I'm, I'm assuming that perhaps it was for sure like a father figure. You don't feel like you had enough time and you could be feeling like when it comes to you having family or happiness in your life, things have not taken off the way that you had hoped that they would. And you may in a way feel that it is due to the fact that you did not have enough time with this masculine energy. Some of you, this was just like an absent parent. Some of you, you have a, a father figure who wasn't present in your life and they've passed on. They passed on, but they they now are trying to assist you. In the afterlife, like they're trying to assist you now. So instead of you being angry at this person, you're needing to do the shadow work and the healing to release whatever type of honestly bitterness, resentment or ego that you may have about this situation because there's a shadow aspect here. And then once you release those feelings, it's going to allow you to step into the light and move forward. But this is something here from your past that's hiding. It's keeping you stuck in some type of illusion. You're confused even about who you are as a person because of something from your childhood. But you can lean into this and embrace it and move forward fiercely um, car just fell one second the ten of wands see it's a burden here it's a burden but the tower is here so there's divine intervention that's coming in to remove this burden here but you have to do your part you have to first recognize what it is that's causing the burden, the will of fortune here. What is causing this cycle of conflict, chaos, and conflict? For some of you, there's a person in your life that you haven't freed yourself from. There's a person, there's a job, a family member, a situation. And every single time you deal with this person or this situation, you somehow are finding yourself stuck, bound, you're dealing with chaos. You're dealing with conflict. You have friends, family, lovers, people around you who are jealous, envious, the crabs in the barrel mentality. Every single time you try to touch the fire, every time you try to tap into your own Midas touch, you have all these different people that you have to battle. This is a burden that you keep carrying here. And the situation will be cleansed and cleared out of your life when you recognize a situation for what it actually is. Some of you, you want to move forward, but you don't want to actually admit that you won't be able to move forward with a certain mindset or with certain people around you. Yeah, but it's time for you to free yourself from this stress, this fear, this anxiety. It's like you're carrying a lot of stuff on your back, a lot of just drama, baggage, old stuff, and then your head space some of you definitely are having like tension headaches you're always emotionally energetically and mentally just burnt out from a situation here that you need to free yourself from but the problem is is that like we saw earlier the blockage is the fear the blockage is your denial about the fact that you really do need to release something or someone And for some of you, it's 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 for sure like a lover or a friend or family member or something, something that's near and dear to you. But what's coming in is you're you're going to have to walk a journey alone if you want the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because something in your is in your mind. It's a mindset that you have to free yourself from. Justice, Six of Swords. When you choose to balance the scales here, you're going to move on to peaceful, calmer waters. Some of you, it does. It has to do with the relationship. Okay. You have some type of beautiful connection coming in that's equal give and take. But you still are juggling and trying to decide because you have something or someone in your energy that's very deceptive. But you have a divine masculine here. That is a part of your divine mission, your purpose, and your journey. So it's up to you to decide to stop juggling. Stop allowing yourself to wonder about the past and wonder, you know, some of you, to be honest, some of you, you have a great opportunity, a great offer, even a great connection around you. And this to me, 
it's a bit of self decept like self deception and sabotage you're you're trying to convince yourself that something good isn't here and it comes maybe from like the card said that it's not me so low, lower self-esteem not feeling like you deserve this type of person or this type of opportunity so you're falling into this mindset that oh it's it's too good to be true i, I can't imagine me having something so great at this time be careful of that yeah because you've actually awakened the hangman this is going through an awakening and you're manifesting with the magician card It looks like some of you things are going to happen so fast that nobody is going to be able to recognize how you became just so, so great. It's like an overnight success type situation if you do the work. Five of swords, five of pentacles. Yeah. See, a lot of people now, they realize that they can't make an offer. They can't apologize. They can't do anything because you're already now Ten of Pentacles. You, you're you building and creating something that's so solid. You're happy. You're passionate. You know, you've gained a lot of wisdom from these experiences. So there's no need for you to look back. But these energies are going to come in to try to sabotage anything good that you have. Yeah, you've worked very hard on building things for yourself. And this five of swords energy, like I said, and I said this before, it's all this good stuff. And then boom, you just kind of run into this, like wondering, you know, am I missing an opportunity? You know, should I go back to the past? Should I go back to that um, job? You know, maybe I shouldn't relocate or whatever. This mental imprisonment comes in. This is a projection of fear that's stemming from someone that's wanting to rush towards you. And this person wants to rush towards you because you have a new offer, a new contract, a new commitment, a new person. That's all this is. That's all. Somebody is seeing that you work very hard to finally achieve wish fulfillment in different areas of your life. This could be a divine feminine or masculine. There could be a divine masculine out here who has finally gone through like a serious awakening. You could have a feminine that feels like they've missed an opportunity. They're projecting fear onto you so that you feel like maybe you're moving in the wrong direction or you're moving too fast. <clears throat> And sometimes with like this type of success comes um, feeling guilty about making it to the next level because other people around you will be left out in the cold. They won't have the same success, but most likely they didn't put in the type of work and the effort that you put in. God can play favorites. <laughs> Like you, you shouldn't apologize for the favor that's over your life, especially when you've gone through these long, long cycles with people for so long. Yeah. You have people who are not going where you're going and to see you happy, passionate page of cups, receiving offers, receiving, you know, new friends and being just happy, self-sufficient, abundant, liberated, free, passionate having a clear mind this has some people like really stuck people are also wanting you have people who are going to be watching you and they want to know how you're doing what you're doing because they actually would love to know for themselves but you have people too who um they're definitely going to feel the missed opportunity because for some of you it's time for you to come out and to shine there's rewards, recognition. There's rooms and platforms that are waiting for you to show up. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You better go claim your blessing. It's being given to you. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Do you see that? For some of you, you're about to have a, a new residence, apartment, condo, home, new job, new business. 
and you're gonna feel so good so happy so free there's a masculine out here that's for sure going towards um building a life and a family and you see this nine of pentacles here this feminine energy on this card like i said you guys as you become the best version of yourself you're gonna run right into someone else or you are, have already met this person you're gonna take the next step to becoming like this power couple building a legacy together celebrating together this is marriage it's peace it's harmony it's bliss it's all things great. These cards fell as well. Two of Wands. You have to make a decision to stop being afraid, paranoid, in fear, stressed, and full of anxiety about heartbreaks that you can't control. Those heartbreaks were there to show you your worth and your value. You have people who were contracting in your life this lifetime simply to hurt you. How long are you going to keep trying to make those lessons a lifetime? And you don't have to carry the pain of it a lifetime. It's over. It's done with. Let it go. Four moons. Two four moons this month. A lot of clearing. A lot of shadow work. A lot of healing is necessary. Because it's time now for you to move in a different direction with a plan. But you must put an end to a situation. In order to experience this rebirth, you have an offer coming in from someone who is going to be very stable and grounded. They bring you peace, balance, and harmony, and they want nothing more than equal give and take. This is a happy, peaceful, harmonious, reciprocal relationship, and this person could be opposite of you. Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. It's time for you to get confirmation. About a group of friends, family, lovers, co-workers. It's time for you to take a break from a group that you've been a part of. That's not actually bringing you any type of peace. King of Swords, Ten of Swords here. This is making a head over heart decision. And I feel like this is a masculine and even a feminine. There's a masculine who's about to get very, very serious about their life. There's a feminine who's about to get very, very serious about their life. Both of you, it's time for you to take action. And I'm saying that there is for sure a couple here because look at this. Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands. That's nothing but pure bliss. But you have to, look, Seven of Pentacles, you have to put in the work. You cannot be afraid to start over. To have wish fulfillment. Somebody is choosing you. After a lot of confusion, illusions, or whatever, somebody is choosing you. And your success, it does bring about obsession from other people. But that shouldn't be your problem, your business, or your concern anymore. You are being heavily watched by a lot of people. And they are trying to collaborate and team up and work against you to project negativity onto you simply because you walked away from them and you blocked them. That's what you were supposed to do. So what's coming in Leo season is you being this fierce, fierce energy yourself. And it doesn't matter what your sign is. But you're becoming this like lioness, this only half human, this supernatural being that is extremely strong. And it's allowing you now to become grounded, stable, work on your business, work on your mindset, work on your habits, make the lifestyle changes. And before you know it, you will be on emperor status. A lot of you now, you're like, well, I'm divine feminine, but I mean, officially. Meaning for some of you, it's time for you to prepare your life, your home and your energy to actually merge with another person if that's what you so choose to do. So I would say now make the head over hard decisions with the, the hermit card here. Go within and do the shadow work, the healing, the introspection, the self-care, the development. Allow yourself to grow and evolve and heal. Say what you mean and mean what you say with this sword. Be truthful and honest about who you are, what you want. Because it's coming to you. We saw the King of Pentacles before. What was this King of Pentacles out here doing? Let me see. 
I saw the King of Pentacles. Was the King of Pentacles with this Ace of Pentacles somewhere? Wait a minute. I know I saw the King of Pentacles. The, the point that I'm making is because a lot of you are in a feminine energy, but you need to be even more open to receiving. The King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles or the King and Queen of Cups, whatever. Some of you are going to officially become someone's par divine partner. Not just spiritually, energetically, actually here in the 3D, you're being prepared to be, you know, a partner for some of you, a parent. Oh, here it is. The King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There's a telepathic communication also that is going to, the telepathic communication between you and another person is going to be very strong. So when you meet this person or if you're with this person, you're going to recognize it. Be mindful of the karmic energies that are still in, you know, trying to kind of tap in and deceive you. But a lot of you, the real deal is coming. If you put in the work. It's like becoming unstoppable. Like people won't recognize you. I mean, seriously, it's like if you just get through whatever this this period of distractions are. Because right now the stepping stone is here. You don't have to rush the journey. But you're on to something bigger and better. You're rebuilding right now. So you're rebuilding your life after loss. And it requires a lot of time and effort. But you have to be determined and driven to become the star. And this requires you to do a lot of learning. Some of you right now, maybe you want to focus even on get online with learning. Some of you want to learn things about um, different jobs online. Some of you may want a platform. I'm hearing platform podcast. Maybe you want to be more active on social media. You may want to build a community on social media. You may find yourself becoming popular. You may go viral. Okay, you have here celebration. Social events, happy outcomes. Some of you are just ready to be more social. And it's time for you to create some type of community, but that requires that you get out of the community that you're in that's causing you to be very stagnant. Crossroads. Yeah, you may be at a crossroads though because you're faced with a choice. There's something or someone that you will have to leave behind and it's because you're around something or someone and they're sending you the evil eye. Somebody is sending you the evil eye because you're passionate about a brand new beginning and you've put up boundaries with someone. So this person is trying to tamper with your energy. You need to just clean house and detoxify because fragmented is here with frag the card that's being fragmented. That means that there's some kind of split in your energy. Okay. You're, you're an earth angel. You're divine. You're being divinely guided. Your spiritual team is trying to assist you, but you're going to have to do your part in realizing that you can't be so passionate about people who you know are sending you the evil eye that you're refusing to put up boundaries. You're going to have to see that certain people are only in your life for a reason, for a season, serendipity. There's about to be a turn of events and luck here. Yeah, because it's time for you to lightning and purpose. It's time for you to be in your purpose. So a lot of towers, a lot of endings are coming because spirit is saying, I'm ready for you <laughs> to get fully in alignment. We'll pull from the Moonology cards. Yeah, these changes are happening really fast, though. Because you're looking for your meaning and your purpose in life. Some of you are looking for your life partner. So you're about to dive deeper into your spiritual journey.
reveal what needs to be seen and detoxify. Um, Taurus and Scorpio energy is here. Some of you would that Taurus detoxify. If you are struggling right now with like balances, budgets, money, you need to be mindful. Some maybe some of you. I'm literally saying somebody. Go through your subscriptions. I don't know who this is for. It's very um, specific. Some of you are paying for a lot of different subscription services that you don't use. You could be using that money. You'll be surprised at how investing $100 a month into, you know, a mutual fund or something like that can grow an account that can help you taking the money that you spend on Starbucks or, you know, buying just overindulging in something or subscription services, something here. There are ways for you to start saving and investing. If you are dealing with any type of financial issues, maybe you're not struggling, but you would just like to save more. You may want to start prioritizing saving. All right. Some of you too, especially if you are looking to become homeowners, if you want to share a life with another person there's people out here if you want to plan for the opening of a business if you want to plan for a wedding or anything look at your subscriptions look at your um your spending habits and see how can you make changes that's for somebody and then reveal what needs to be seen for some of you you need to be seen Release control. It's another card here. Um, first quarter moon and Taurus. Work through your feelings. Last quarter moon in Aries. And make time for self-love. And then you have here first quarter moon in Leo. It says be humble. And then the full moon in Sagittarius. See the bigger picture. And cool your emotions. Leave the past behind. Let your fears dissolve. Full moon in Cancer. And then full moon in Virgo. Take inspired action. New moon in Capricorn. Step up and lead. And unleash your kindest self. You're being encouraged to really just step into your purpose. Lead with love and light. This is... um. This energy is teaching you how to better use your energy, but to really understand that even with empathy, there's a way to give, like I said, even tough love, like to, to spread love and light, but to know who to extend that love and light to is very important. Some of you, you're constantly extending or overextending love and light to people who have no desire to be lo in love and light. They just want your love and your light. <laughs> um, but there's also people that you're being called to go out and to help and to assist and to build with. Make sure you're not missing out on those opportunities by wasting them on situations that are going to bring you disappointment or regret. Okay. Just know that you are good enough. And a new start is coming. Um... You know what? I was going to add love into this reading for the for this formal. I'm going to do a separate love reading. It's going to be strictly just love. I would like to do that. You guys and I have I'm trying I want to try new things too for the channel. So I'm going to leave this as like this general collective reading for the full moon in Aquarius. But I'm going to do a separate love reading. All right. So stay tuned for that. Um, you guys, I'm going to leave this here. I really hope that this gave you a little bit of clarity and insight of just how we can kind of use a full moon in Aquarius, 
um, energy. Um, always go within so that you never go without. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.